Owen Oyston has taken his first steps to finally relinquishing control of Blackpool by offering the club to Valerie Bellicon, Sports Mill can reveal. Bellicon, the former club president, is still owed in the region of £25 million after an ugly lawsuit for unfair prejudice following years of acrimony as a result of their one season in the Premier League. Oyston faces selling off countless family assets in a bid to stump up the cash while simultaneously signing for a loan at an eye-watering interest rate. The 84-year-old has privately admitted he must sell Blackpool and, as a way of foregoing paying the outstanding £25 million, offered to walk away for free. His proposal included Bloomfield Road the club hotel and the dilapidated training ground at Squiresgate. Bellicon, the Latvian banker who is working with the EFL to overturn a director disqualification, has eyes on taking over but Sportsmill understands Oyston's offer is not deemed good enough. It's believed he is looking for a portion of the remaining £25 million as well as ownership by way of payment. Sources close to Bellicon claim they have twice rejected the offer verbally through their lawyers. Bitterness has reigned within Blackpool since Pelican was awarded £31.27 million back in November, a day the Oyston family were adjudged to have illegitimately stripped the Seasiders. Carl Oyston was axed as chairman and then went on to pen a letter to the EFL declaring his father, Owen, not fit and proper to run the club. The pair are no longer on speaking terms. The EFL are meeting Blackpool supporters on Tuesday night to discuss concerns over football governance.